Welcome back to Dropping Gems. Today's tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys more about the importance of sectioning and why I love to section. As you guys can see, when you section the hair the right way, as the hair grows out, it's not looking scruffy. The hair lays in its natural state and it's so much easier to readjust the cut when your clients come back to your chair. So let's get it started. First things first with sectioning the hair, if you can wash the hair, wash the hair. For this particular case, I'll put you guys in a situation where maybe you're running out of time at the salon or the shop, or maybe someone's using the wash bowl, or maybe you don't have one. So for me, just use the spray bottle and spray it at the section where you want to section the hair. So as you guys can see, we have the top layer, and I'm starting with the sides, and I'm combing the hair in its natural state. Any hair that's fighting you in terms of like where you want to comb it, you should put that where it does want to lay. Okay, and then we're gonna work our way to the other side. Same idea as the left side. We're gonna just spray the areas that we want to section. So after you guys wet the sections, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the clips. That way it's gonna stay in its place and we have a clear, clear canvas. All right, perfect. So now we're gonna do the right side and the left side, just right above the ear. And notice how I'm combing it so gently in its own direction because the cleaner your sections are, the easier it is when you guys cut the hairs. And it's not that messy. So like I said, take your time and don't feel like when you're looking at a lot of hair, don't feel so overwhelmed, okay? So after we section the hair, we're looking at four different sections. Back side, I like to call this section one. And then the left side and the right side, you could either call it two or three, but the top is gonna be section four. The reason why I call the back section one is because we're gonna work on that first. And then with the two and the three, we're gonna blend it with the one and then section four to finish off the haircut. So before I do a hyper speed of this cut, let me talk to you guys about the top. So as you guys can see, there's like a V shape the reason why I'm not creating a U is because this is gonna be his natural hair flow. So if we just focus on that, we don't have to worry about hairs overlapping or hair sticking out at the end of the cut. So sectioning is very important in terms of styling and cutting because you're going with the grain of the hair. That means that after your client takes a shower or without hair products, his hair is not sticking out. To be a great barber or a great stylist, you shouldn't have to depend on products to create the hairstyle. To all my stylists and to my, all my barbers, this is a very common cut when it's like a gentleman-like cut. A lot of people are gonna ask for like an all scissor work haircut. This is what you're gonna need to do if you wanna make some money, right? Uh, I have a video already up. It's called like a summer beach bum vibe look inspired for the summer look and it's all scissor work. Uh, this is very similar to that cut as you get, cause it's the same sectioning, but it's all scissor work all throughout. And honestly, for some reason, with my experience, a lot of my clients actually appreciate if they ask to do an all uh, scissor cut and you actually do all shears, they look at you as like a God. Right now, we're looking at section two. The reason why I call this a section two is because obviously after you do the section one, I'm gonna blend in the sides from section two to one because we created a guideline from the back and we're just gonna work our way to the front on the, on the right side. And then after this, we're gonna do the same technique for section three. Let's do section four. So as you guys can see, I'm creating a spine right in the middle of this section four so we can have more of a symmetrical uh, pompadour slash haircut. A lot of people are gonna ask for all scissor work and honestly, they just want to slick their hair back. It's a little secret for everybody that's watching this. 
The reason why I'm picking out this tiny piece of hair from section four is because I'm gonna blend this top, middle of the spine from section four towards section one. And I'm actually gonna show you guys how I blend it. But as you guys can see, I'm pretty much trying to blend that with section one. That way we can blend the top with the back. All right, so after we blend in section four with section one, we're gonna have to blend in section four with two and three. So as you guys can see, I'm blending in the sides in an angle. That way it just blends so fluidly and it's not sharp lines. So after you blend in section four with two and three, now it's time for us to blend in the top. When you pick up the hair, all you're gonna see are like jagged lines. So try to point cut this part and just create a straight line. You don't have to create a sharp line because if you point cut, it's just gonna create more of like a flowy looking cut. Anyway, so thank you guys for tuning in. This is how you section the hair. This episode was more about sectioning hair. And in my opinion, if you split into four sections, it's a lot easier, it's not as overwhelming. And if you guys have any questions or concerns and more haircuts to inspire me to do, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in for this episode of Dropping Gems and I'll see you guys next week.